Hi, this is Brian Smith, and in this video I'm going to cover how to run Podman in Podman, or in other words, how to run a container within a container using Podman. This is currently a technology preview functionality as of rel 8.3. Also, please note that Podman in Podman functionality is currently only available when starting the container as root. Alright, to start, I'll go ahead and show that I'm on a rel 8.3 system. And I'll start a container using the registry.redhat.io slash rel8 slash podman container image. I'll also add the minus minus privileged argument because there are some additional capabilities that are required when you run podman in podman. And I'll specify that I'd like to run an interactive bash shell within the container. Okay, at this point I'm now at a shell within the newly created container. In this example I'm going to use podman to build and run another container from within this container. I'll start by creating a slash temp slash container directory and seeding into that new directory. I'll then create a container file that will have the instructions for how the new container image should be built. So I'll go ahead and paste that in and as you can see we are going to specify that we would like to build the new container from the UBI8 container image. Next we're going to install the Apple 8 RPM package to make the Apple 8 repository available within the container. Next, it will run a yum install on the moonbuggy package, and finally set the containers command to moonbuggy. Moonbuggy is a simple text-based game, and is just a sample application that I'm using in this demo. Next, I'll use the podman build command to build a new container image using the instructions from that container file. I'll specify that the image should be named moonbuggy, and this is going to take a couple of minutes for the container image to build, so I'll come back once it's done building. Okay, the container image successfully built, and I can go ahead and run Podman Images and verify that I can see it. And at this point, I'm still in the container that I originally created, and what I'm going to do is run a new container based on that container image I just created, and this will be running a container within a container using Podman. So I'll go ahead and run Podman Run, and then I'll specify, I'm going to name this new container Moon, and finally specify that I'd like to use the Moon Buggy image that I just created. Okay, you can see that the container successfully ran. I'm now um, in the application that I added into the container, and I can just verify that it's functional. And once I've done that, I'll go ahead and exit back into the original container. And now that I've verified that the new container image is working, I could optionally tag the image and push it to a remote container image registry. Well, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.